How much does, does that sting, Stuart? Yeah, it stings, obviously. Um, fellow had a good plan, executed it majority of the night, but when we didn't, they made us pay. I think we had double the shots at half time, yeah. 16 to 8, so um, what, we had 23 point buffer, so you know, a little bit similar to the, the Essendon game. If you don't put a buff here, you leave the door open and they came through it like all good teams do. So, yeah, we're, we're disappointed. Um, we're frustrated. We, we certainly feel that. Um, you know, I think we were two and two and three at this stage last year, which got to two and five and we dug our way out. So that's what we've got to do. Um, you know, we tried a few different things tonight, which we we liked um, with our setup, but you know, it would have been nice to be sitting here saying that we, we got the points, we didn't. So yeah, it's, that stings for sure. So it's hard to, hard to digest a little bit at the moment, just because um, felt like our effort was there um, all night and just fundamentals at crucial times really did really did hurt us so you know, we just got to get better and continue pounding away and I think that's what we did last year when under pressure and under the pump um, I think our players responded so we'll be asking the same questions of ourselves and the players together and, and stay connected How much of a mental thing can that be that's been a lot made of the inaccuracy in a lot of your games so far this year is how, how mentally um, each each case is different, but I think you know collectively I don't I don't get a sense that it's it's um, an issue. We just got to keep doing the work. Um, you got to cover every blade of grass when you're having shots at goal, stationary on the run. Um, you get confidence by doing, and um, I think that's what we've got to put our energy. So we've had a couple of six day breaks. Um, to so get minimal work in, we'll get a little bit of work in to our next game and, and look forward to getting dusting off and doing the work to get better. But yeah, it's it's been an issue because we can sometimes you can look at a whole other a, lot, a whole lot of other stats. Um, however, we've we've had momentum in games and just haven't put that buffer in that we can protect enough. Is it just too sim- is it too simplistic to say bad kicking is bad football in the case of tonight? Because um, you could have. You could have had a forty-point lead there. Yeah, you know? yeah, we could have. Um, but again, it's you know no one's immune to a day like that, and we still should be able to um, continue to put the foot down when we're twenty-three points up. Mm-hmm. You know, and even at, um, throughout the course of the night, we were able to arrest momentum. We just didn't, you know, some critical aerial contests across the night that fluctuated. I think that 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 let them in a fair bit. Obviously, in the in the rucks, they had absolute dominance. Um, and they got two, two high quality ruckmen, and and Ned Ned battled as much as he can. He's a second gamer, so mm. he's still learning. He what he does, he doesn't give up. Um, you know, he certainly didn't give up, and he'll learn a lot from that tonight. It looked like you yeah, got off the ground pretty quick after the game. Was that just frustration or something else? Oh, game's done. Um, not a lot to do after game's done. Um, probably not dissimilar if I was in the box, just. Get down the change room, try and gather your thoughts, think about what you can say here, say to the players. Um, yeah, nothing, no motive, just um, game's over, siren's gone. Get in the sheds and and work out what's next. Last quarter, you look a bit out in your legs, a bit gassed. Could you feel it slipping away then? Oh, I think when we didn't control the ball, you can look like that. Um, you know, I think we only had 14 marks in the last quarter and... You know, we were searching to get a little bit of composure with the ball and I think that you know the ball was just live over and over and over so I think that can contribute to that um, but certainly you know from our point of view that's that's where we lost control of the game where we couldn't take care of the ball and it's again some fundamental errors you know some of our entries in the in the last quarter um, weren't quite at the level that we'd like them to be and to give our forwards a chance both sides came in one and three a contest like that, when you don't get up, you're going to be kicking yourself and there's going to be a lot of frustration. But I'm just wondering, how do you feel, how far off do you feel things are, given that, you know, accurate, more accurate goal kicking probably gives you the win tonight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, look, we're, the, the, the win-loss isn't, isn't there. Um, feel like we're starting to settle the side. You know, we've, we have chopped and changed a bit and a little bit was 
obviously Lemons, Ellis, Power, Weller um, were missing at the start of the year, and tonight was the first night all four of those players played together. So, you know, I think yeah, from round one we we probably had seven or eight of our first choice out. Um, so I certainly feel like we're starting to settle into to what um, our best lineup would look like, and you know, obviously with Witsy, you know, hopefully we get back to the coast and, and get some good news that he can get up as well, and that'll give us some options. And so, yeah, look, we don't want to be too simplistic. We want to make sure that we're we're looking um, all facets facets of the game, but without going down a rabbit hole as well, because it felt like. You know, in particular tonight, both teams had a crack all night. Mm. <laughs> it was, um, it's really hard to do it at the moment, but that was a, a cracking game of, of pressure footy. Um, you know, so, yeah, you'd like to come out on top, but you don't. You tip your hat to them. They, they got it done when they needed to. How, how do you assess Jack McCosius' this game tonight? Oh, I thought he had a great game. I know he'll, he'll, be, he'll be hurting. I don't need to... Um, Rub that in his, rub his nose in it. He'll be hurting. You know, he backs himself. I think he's making great strides this year, and you know his intensity around the ball and um, finding space. His decision making's unbelievable. So I'm really pleased for Jack. I feel like he's had a great um, preseason in that position, and I think I mentioned a couple of games ago that you know we probably shuffled him a bit with those players out at the start of the year. So when we've left him there and he's worked into the game, I, I really felt like he set the tone and, mm. you know, a couple of times he, he hit guys inside 50, um, they didn't finish the work, so I can, I can only praise Jack the way he's going about it. I think he's really maturing and, and building into something special. Mm. Yeah. Just the, he was probably, B, well he was BOG there for a big part of the game, but he kicks one goal four. Yeah. And yeah. that set that shot he missed, I think, late in the third quarter, you can just see the, just really def- like it looked like it took a lot of wind out of your sails. Yeah, it can, and mm-hmm. that can. Um, he's experienced the flip side when he kicked that goal against Geelong. So um, certainly, as his coach, I back him to be on that side of it more often than not. So, as I said, he will be more disappointed than than anyone in terms mm-hmm. of that. So I don't. I know he cares deeply about his performance and the footy club. So um, he'll just he'll get to work. Mm. Yeah. Any injuries for you? Uh, not not that I know of. Um, I, so I don't expect any surprises. Mm. Um, we subbed uh, Bailey, and probably more around just getting six to nine and making a bit of a change. And he's still getting into it as a young player, but gee, he competes, doesn't he? Like mm. you know, strong hands, um, hit the scoreboard. So he got his first goal in AFL footy. He missed one. He gave one off. When he, you know, good composure. So no, we're really happy with his progress, and we'll continue to. Um, explore exposing him to AFL footy. Um, we're certainly not handing him a game. He's a competitor, as we saw tonight. So when the ball's in his area, um, he, he's going to win most one-on-ones. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.